Hello YouTube. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a little bit uh, nicer and a bit friendlier. So it's been a about a day past uh, March 8th, which was International Women's Day. So this video is going to be me and my feelings about that. Basically, I am going to first talk about how great International Women's Day is. So if you are somebody who completely despises all women, this video is not for you and you're free to move on. On the other side of this coin is that if you are a feminist who came upon my video uh, loving the fact that I'm going to be praising everything that is feminine, everything that is woman, well, sorry, you're going to get a dose of reality. <laughs> because we're going to talk about both the good and the bad things about International Women's Day. Let's roll. March 8th uh, was International Women's Day, so congratulations to the women in our lives, our mothers, our sisters, our daughters, our nieces, uh, best friends, lovers, and such. Uh, this day is for you. So I, I do believe that women are important in society, so you should have a day to celebrate everything that is positive and everything that is good about women. Uh, same thing for International Men's Day. <laughs> When that comes around, obviously praise the men in your life because they are equally as important to the rest of society. In saying that, <laughs> I want to congratulate strong, empowered women. Now, this is towards women who are strong, who made it, who are single mothers or uh, devoted wives to their husbands, who are dedicated mothers, who hope to raise their children to become functional adults later on in life. That day is for you. I celebrate this day for you because my mother taught me how to cook, how to clean, how to sew. Uh, my creativity comes from my mother. Um, so my sister had a pretty decent relationship with her and she also has her own family as well. And I have three beautiful nieces that I just adore. So this day is for you. Now on the <laughs> opposite side of this uh, lovely coin, um, we're going to talk about the women who <laughs> decided to take a day off from the world and stick it to the patriarchy. That's right. I'm talking about the Women's March uh, thing where they wanted to have a day without a woman just to really showcase how much women are needed in society. I don't actually agree with this because uh, first off, the Women's March really wasn't a Women's March. It was the anti-Trump March. Uh, it didn't represent all women. And those women and some men who went there to represent all women or minority groups, uh, which I'm a part of, you know, you don't speak for us. And I disagreed with that march. I found it to be pointless and I didn't like any of the messages that they were presenting, a lot of it was about uh, divisiveness, a lot of it was narcissistic tendencies, and also promoting this victimhood narrative, which I am totally against. If you go onto Twitter right now, there's a big thing about uh, hashtag a day without a woman. Uh, I think a lot of feminist women and SJWs were trying to showcase, you know, how important a woman is and how much a society would be affected if a woman decided to take a day off. Now, the thing to take note here is that not a lot of women label as feminists. There's actually a small percentage of women in the Western society that actually openly label as feminist. Um, there's a lot more women who just don't label as such. So those that label as feminists decided to take a day off. Sure. What did it accomplish? Absolutely nothing. Like a fart in the wind, it came, it went, and it passed. The world did not change. Yes, ladies, your stance against the patriarchy proved to be pointless. <sighs> and like, I'm wondering how many uh, women who actually went to work, who actually contributed to the society, probably felt very embarrassed by these feminist women taking the day off. Like some celebrities such as Emma Watson decided to put books all over New York City uh, to celebrate the day without a woman. 
But you know what's really funny is that I'm pretty sure Emma Watson, who is an actress who has millions of dollars under her belt, or dress, or under boob. I can't really tell. She can afford to take a day off. In fact, she can afford to take a year off if she really wanted to. So how is she helping society and proving the significance of women when she is super entitled and privileged? Way to go, Emma. Way to go. Hopefully you're not going to be charged with littering for those books, so... I celebrate International Women's Day because I have women in my life that I love and I cherish. I love and value women. I love your femininity. I love uh, a lot of stuff about you. But to those feminist women or SJWs who constantly bicker, who constantly whine about stupid shit, who, who suffer from their own bubble of victimhood complex. I can't stand you guys. I wish you would just grow up and understand the rights that you have in Western society. I, and I hope you understand that you are completely equal to men under the law and in fact even have more privileges than men do and that you are more valued. But somehow you're not getting that. Somehow you think having a you know, child-sized tantrum and taking a day off is going to stick it up the ass of that patriarchy. Mm -hmm. That same patriarchy that helped build civilization, the men that are there to protect you, to listen to you, to value you as a person, yeah, that's, you're really sticking it to them. Oh, and other news here, Linda Sarzur, who is the founder, uh, leader of the Women's March, Women's March, was apparently arrested at the Trump Tower. Taking a look on Twitter here, I actually saw a video where she was actually arrested. So her and a group of women were actually um, causing trouble. They were warned by police not to uh, cause trouble and desist. When they didn't, they were arrested. So Linda Sarzor, I hope you rot in jail. So anyways, that was kind of a nice little thing. Sorry that this uh, well wish is a day late, so forgive me ladies. And that's about it for me right now. Just a quick video and I will see you all next time. And remember, Always take care of one another. Bye. This is me right after my shower. Ugh, I look like a troll doll. Oh my god. Let me get back to you so I can do my hair and be a little bit more presentable for the actual video.